The house used in Tom Hanks Money Pit is up for sale. Also, the Stephen King manuscript collection has been destroyed. And now we know who Creed is going to fight in Creed 2. And we're going to talk about all that and more coming up. What up to my peoples? Welcome back to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia news show that's all about current pop culture, movies, music, and games that relates to all things 70s, 80s, and 90s. So let's first start off with some retro TV and movie news. The mansion that was used in Tom Hanks' 1986 classic, The Money Pit, is up for sale, and it can be yours for a mere $5.9 million. The movie about the house includes Tom Hanks and Shelley Long as a couple that buy a mansion for $200,000 that they thought was going to be a great deal. But it ends up almost costing them their lives, careers, and relationship. But in the end, it works out for them and the mansion is fully renovated. The outside of the mansion was all that was used in the film. And all the inside sets were done in a studio. So you're not going to be able to see the same rooms that the scenes were done in if you buy the home. But it's sort of fun to get to see this house after all these years anyways. And if you haven't seen The Money Pit yet, it's worth the watch. And next, the 1970s superhero Black Lightning, which you might remember from old comic books, has a new show on the CW. Black Lightning originally had his own comic book series in 1977, and he also appeared in the 1970s Saturday cartoon Challenge of the Super Friends under the name Black Vulcan. I watched the first episode, and this new spin on the old 70s comic character is a nice homage to the original with a grittier new look. The first episode wasn't without its flaws, though. It had some sort of shaky acting and not really great special effects, but I'm happy to see one of my old heroes from cartoons that I loved as a kid get his due. Not sure if the show will ever merge into the Arrowverse with the Arrow, the Flash, and Supergirl, but it's always a possibility. I, for one, would love to see this happen. If you'd like to check out Black Lightning, it's on the CW on Tuesdays, 9, 8 central. So check it out. And next, I have some, a small bit of news on the Creed 2 movie. It looks like Stallone has put out some new info on who Ivan Drago's son is going to be for the film. The actor playing him is Florian Mutinea who is a Romanian boxer in real life. I'll say it here first. If this news is true, I think it's a terrible move. Not for the actor playing the role, but we're seeing more confirmation that Ivan has a son and he's going to fight Adonis. I personally hope that Stallone is pulling the rug over our eyes and it turns out that Florian is actually a boxer being trained by Drago and not his actual son. It's cliche, boring, and safe. And if they go the Drago son route, uh, it's going to be so dumb for Stallone to make that. Drago, come on, man. I mean, Stallone, you need to pick something better, man. Do something real. And then a bit of literature news. Apparently, a ton of old original Stephen King manuscripts in first print books were destroyed in a water main break at a collector's home. The collector had the books temporarily stored in a basement when the water damaged his collection of thousands of books and memorabilia. This guy was so into King that he actually moved to Maine to be near him. He was planning on opening a small museum to display the collection, but that may never happen now. What a loss, man. And last up on this day in history, January 18, 1977, snow fell in Miami and the Bahamas. It was the only time in recorded history that it happened and a sure sign of a coming ice age. Global cooling, scientists believe. So much for global warming, right? And that's all the retro news that I have for you this week. If you like the video, do me a solid and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, it would be totally rad if you subscribed and joined our Retro Tribe. We put out groovy videos every Monday and Friday, so stick around. All right, Retro Heads, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.